So the book was Creativity Inc. And this was a leader from Pixar who talked about how Pixar basically built an, almost like a system, I guess you could say, or an environment, maybe that's a better word, an environment of creativity. And you're right, it's difficult to do. It's difficult to create an environment of creativity <laughs> at a company. But I think anybody that knows Pixar, anybody that's seen any of the movies, any parent, child, maybe like me, you've grown up with Pixar as a kid watching Toy Story and now watching the movies with my kids. They're just fantastic. They're just fantastic movies. They're super creative. The humor is creative. They've done an amazing job of having parent and child humor <laughs> in each of the movies. So they have figured out something there that's pretty special. And this was our chance to really peel back the onion and understand really the kind of the growth that happened in that space. It wasn't always like that. They had some key pieces of it, but how much work it took to, to really make that happen and things that had to be addressed to, to ensure that it continued moving forward. Very interesting book. I'm excited to talk about it. Yeah, you know, and one of the things is that I knew the name John Lasseter and Ed Catmull. I was not like big fans of them or something like this. A lot of people know Steve Jobs. They were there at the very beginning. In fact, Ed Catmull probably was there earlier. He started in some like computer rooms and colleges. And this is yeah. really going back. I will say, if you are interested in this book, one of the things that I actually really liked, and you can tell me, is that tended to not just be your standard business book. Here are all my philosophies. Here are all my learnings. It was really a story yeah. from the last 20 years of totally. where Pixar came from. Before it was ever Pixar, to all the success that we know. Cars is a great movie. Cars came out before I had kids, and I loved it because I'm a car guy, and there's just something a little bit, I don't know, moving about a movie that's about cars, but then all about the human experience and the loss of the small town Americana and all these things. So they just capture so much in their films. Yeah. And I think no matter who you are familiar with, any number of Pixar movies, Toy Story Trilogy, Monsters, Inc., Finding Nemo, The Incredibles, Up, WALL-E, which is an amazing one. As I mentioned, Up, the opening scene to Up, if, if you've seen oh my that, gosh. right? Yeah. The, oh, yeah. The, it's, the movie Up is great, but that opening scene about Carl and his wife, Ellie, is one of those that just gets played as its own movie a lot of times. Yeah. And it's heartbreaking sometimes. Yeah. Just maybe it's one of the most of moving amazing. pieces of cinema I've ever seen. I would agree. It's very interesting that they left that in there because I'm sure that they had to know that that was going to be like a pretty moving intro. And what do you even call that in a movie? I'm not sure what it's really, is it like a vignette or is it, I'm not yeah. sure what the name is, but there's gotta be a name for something that's at the beginning of a movie like that, like a whole story within itself almost. But yeah. But it's that, kind of a heavy, so good. heavy topic for yeah. an animated movie. In some ways we talk about what is inbounds and out of bounds to talk about. I got to imagine that they had some conversation about, is this too much for an animated movie? Yeah target for kids. Anyway, I bring up that because the point I'm trying to make here is I think everyone knows Pixar movies. You're familiar with yep. the little dust lamp icon, and you've probably seen that at the beginning of their lead-ins and so many things. But what I loved about it is that he's telling the story of Pixar and then giving his learnings along the way.